Can I interview you for my YouTube channel? Me? Yeah, you. Why me? I push strangers. That's what my YouTube sure, channel is about. Good. Yeah? Yeah. Hold on for a second. Say again. Okay, no problem. It's about your feet. It's what? It's about your feet. Oh, okay. I'm a foot photographer. Okay. Can we stand over here? Appreciate it. All right. I want you to stand here. I want to get the backdrop. Can we see a light right here? Yeah, I want to get that beautiful backdrop. I know, that's perfect. Yep. Face me. All right, so what just happened just now? And what is it about? Uh, feet. Yeah. Foot, you're a foot photographer. Right. So why did you say yes? Oh, I don't know. Because you seem nice and approachable and friendly. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> uh, what about the subject matter? Uh, you Being know, your feet. If you really like my shoes that much, you can ask questions about them. But... Well, I'm really interested in your bare feet. My bare feet? Yeah. Okay. So how do you feel about your feet? Uh, I mean, I guess I, I, guess I like them. Do you like them? Right. Like, they're tough, they're athletes' feet. So. Okay. What type of sports do you play? Soccer. Soccer? Yeah. Okay. So, um, have you ever been complimented on your feet? No, because they're always usually in cleats or shoes or something. Cleats and shoes? Yeah. How often do you wear sandals? I actually don't own a pair of sandals. Really? Yeah. Really? That's, yeah. Okay. How often do you show your feet? Like, wear open toe shoes? I don't own open toe shoes. Really? So, yeah. you never show your feet? No. Is there a reason? What's the reason? Feel more comfortable and in I'm shoes. The kind of person where I won't put myself. If I don't feel comfortable, I don't have confidence. Or I don't feel confidence. Okay. So even at the beach, you don't feel comfortable no, being right. grounded yeah, in the no, sand. No. Okay. Yeah. All right. Have you always been that way? Yeah. yeah. Ever since a little kid. Ever since I can remember. Okay. I talked to another lady, and she was because she felt the same way. She yeah. never shows her feet. And her theory was, because um, somebody had told her, if you were held a lot as a child, yeah. there's something registers in your brain that touching the ground is something traumatic. She said that could be it. I, I interviewed another lady. She loves being grounded to the... Yeah. That's why I interview different people, because everybody's got their different perspective and everything. And that's what makes it so interesting. All right, so um, how would you feel if your feet were bare and a man gave you a compliment about your feet? You're not the greatest at compliments? Yeah. Why is that? Uh, I mean, I guess it depends on if, like, if I'm going out like this, I'm not dressed to uh -huh. get compliments, like, I don't expect them. Right, so I see. So I almost take them as, why are you complimenting me? Just, okay. Because when, like when I came up to you and I said, can I interview you, you like, why me? Why did you, why did you, uh, why was that your response? Uh, I don't know, because I just, I do my thing and it's not for everyone, but... Okay. All right. So, again, your feet were bare, yeah. and a man saw your feet, and he yeah. gave you a compliment. He says, "Wow, you have really pretty feet." You would accept it. You would be receptive to it, or would you be repulsed by it? No, I would. I would say thank you. You would say thank, thank you. Okay. What about men who are really into women's feet? Like they want to give you a foot massage, kiss on them, smell on them. How would you react to that? Not my thing, but you know, you be you. But receiving it, would you be open to receiving that? Probably not. Not? No, why not? Yeah. Why not? Uh, it's just not, it's not my thing. It's not your thing? I, I think it's weird for me, but I wouldn't, you know, if that's what somebody else likes, then mm -hmm. I'm not here to tell them. Okay. I think it's a unique uh, thing to, to be into. Okay. I guess. But on the receiving end, you wouldn't be open to it? Yeah. No? Yeah. Okay. Do you like to be touched at all? Yeah. Okay. There's different other areas. Yeah. But not feet. But not feet? No. Okay, so you're completely closed off to that. Yeah. All right. That's interesting. Any particular reason why? Is it related to the fact that you don't like to show your feet? I mean, it makes sense if, like, put two to the other. Yeah. Okay. Would you be willing to show your feet right now sure. for us? Yeah? yeah? Bare feet? I mean, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Let me have you... Let's sit up here. I hope that's not a problem. All right, yeah, let's sit up here for a minute.
Alright. I am a, I am trying to do a workout today, so <sighs> we gotta belt. Like... Sit down right here. First. Alright. About four more minutes. There we go. That's perfect. Okay. Alright, so let's do the so let's do the the reveal. Okay. So you've never been complimented on your feet. I'm gonna give you the first compliment. Okay. You have great arches and great alignment. Yeah. These are really nice. So how do you feel right now, showing your feet? You fine with it? Face me. Legs straight. You know, face me completely. Okay. All right. Wow. You have a great shape. <laughs> like seriously, like, like, like the the arches. Uh, the arches and the way it comes around. Can I touch your feet? Is it okay? uh, I mean, yes or no? I mean, if you don't feel comfortable, you, know, yeah. you don't want your feet to be touched. Yeah. Why not? It's kind of personal space. It's personal space, yeah. so you don't like your feet being touched at all. All right. I've also known you for five minutes. Okay, so what's the worst that can happen from getting your feet touched? Nothing. Let me add the mental health aspect of my channel. Okay. Have you heard of uh, dialectical behavioral therapy? Yep. Okay, so um, you have a therapist? Yep. Dialectical behavioral therapy. Okay, if you have a fear of something, like approaching strangers, they recommend that you go out and approach strangers over and over and over again yep. and get used to the feeling. The rationale being, what's the worst that could happen from it happening? If there's not a threat to your life or a threat to your safety, right. you could be preventing yourself from the opportunity of experiencing a pleasant event sure. and closing yourself off to those experiences. Yeah. So that's why I asked you, what's the worst that could happen? A stranger? Yeah, we only knew you such for a few minutes. Okay. Me touching your feet, what's the worst that could happen from that? Nothing. So why is it that you still, you don't feel, you feel repulsed by it? I'm not comfortable with that layer of after, meet, you know, after meeting somebody. Right. But still, you wouldn't proceed, even though it feels uncomfortable, okay. and nothing bad can happen from it. You still wouldn't proceed with it. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I need to have my own boundaries. Okay, so you just close off to that experience completely. Yeah. All right, I understand. I respect that. So let me have your toes up, and then we'll be finished. Toes all the way up. One more minute. Heels together. I do want to keep going on my run, so... Alright, one more minute. Okay. Toes up. All the way up as high as you can get them. There you go. Scrunch them down. I can make your fist. They do look strong. You do look like strong feet. These are soccer feet, right? Soccer feet. Soccer feet? Okay. Alright. Spread your toes out. Oh, I don't know if I can even do that. You can't do that? Really? No. <laughs> oh, wow. So, my approach. Okay. What did you think of it? Okay. Any recommendations, uh, critiques, or uh, modifications I could make to make it better? No, I mean, I feel like you were reading like the individual, and, and you were, uh, you know, not pushy. You uh -huh. were friendly and open. And, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Any parting words? Thank you. Thank you. For this experience. Okay. And what would you say? How was how was this experience? It was interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. All right then. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy your run. I will. I'll let you go. What, what I can do with my run. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Take care. Cool. Thank you.